it is heartbreaking to see families who are fleeing war and uh, carrying their children with them, arriving in Calais and then discovering they need to make another journey in order to get a visa. Now, what the government has said is it is his increasing staff, is there any evidence of setting up a processing centre there on the ground yet? What there is evidence of is contradiction uh, and corrections uh, from the government on their policy in terms of issuing uh, visas to Ukrainians. There is confusion amongst the poor Ukrainians, the war weary who have travelled, you say, hundreds of miles uh, to be here. They are wondering what to do next. They certainly, let me tell the viewers, do not want to be stuck in a hostel in a back street in Calais. Many of them I've spoken to had had lovely homes in Ukraine. Most of those homes have now uh, been bombed. There is no help for them on the ground here. There is no staff uh, from uh, the Home Office uh, here on the ground. Pretty Patel yesterday said that there are people here to help them. We haven't seen any. The charities haven't seen any. Uh, the Ukrainian refugees in there certainly haven't seen any. One British man I spoke to even drove uh, from Essex to pick up his family uh, on the border of Ukraine, brought them back to about to board a ferry, uh, and then was stopped at the border uh, by the border force there, saying they didn't have the right paperwork for his Ukrainian wife. We did have one of the fastest vaccination rollouts, didn't we, of, in the world. So we have systems uh, in place to put things through quickly if we need to. We are struggling to issue a few visas at the moment. It is a bit embarrassing. It's a shame for the people uh, in here. We should be doing much better. Why do you think it is that other countries are managing to do this? Well, they've chosen Mal not Mal to Malvo, have visas. For example, is, is a tiny chosen... country and that's taking thousands of refugees. Poland They've is chosen ta not to have visas, Richard. We have chosen that to use two routes. The yeah. humanitarian route, which is uncapped in number, right? Un uncapped in number. And the second one is we've chosen the family route, which we'll say is up to 200,000 people. Mm -hmm. All we are asking is that people verify who they are uh, and they do some security checks before they come in. Okay. And the normally other countries... that is done by looking at someone's passport. Uh, it doesn't take long. I'm, I'm not sure. Susanna, when and you go I to the airport, think... they don't just look at your airport. They check your passport, passport. against a database. Yes. They uh, don't just look at it. They okay. check it against We're talking the... about so the... a civilised country, France, which has the technology... We're talking about a city, Calais, and the officials there have already, no, the French officials, have called our approach inhumane. We ca all we're hearing is reasons why we, reasons we why can't not. do it, well, whereas we all know there is a simple, or potentially a simple reason why we're not doing it. And some well, people might suspect that is because we don't have the will to do it. Can you confirm well, no, I... that we do have the will to allow in thousands of Ukrainian refugees desperately fleeing war. Yes, we have the will to let in hundreds of thousands, Susanna.